A hybrid seminar between tertiary students in Ghana and the United States of America on drug policy reform has taken place in Accra. The aim is to foster a comprehensive understanding through comparative dialogue to align drug use approaches with international standards. It was a result of the oriented knowledge sharing experience. The one-day seminar between tertiary students in Ghana and the United States was organized by POS Foundation and International Visitor Leadership Program. The unique initiative established a platform for intellectual discourse and knowledge exchange between African and American legal brains. The seminar adopted a hybrid format with participants gathering both in person and virtually to ensure inclusivity and accessibility for all students. The collaborative efforts aims to equip participants with the necessary knowledge and insights into different approaches to drug use, their effectiveness, ethical implications and impact on public health and society. Broadly, the seminar seeks to address the issues of substance use and abuse, prevention and drug policies with particular emphasis on comparative analysis and global best practices. The seminar leveraged on the diverse perspectives and experiences of students from various institutions with a view to holistically understand the challenges associated with drug use. Some of the speakers recommended to the Ghanaian authority to formulate policies that treat drug use and its dependence as a public health issue rather than focusing solely on law enforcement, incarceration, punishment and repression. If you look at the new law, which is Act 1019, um, like I mentioned in my presentation much earlier that, of course it's a progress that has been made in it, but there's still some few loopholes that need to be addressed. One is the fines. If you look at the fines, they are very hefty. Because if somebody is caught for drug use, you are either charged for two, between 200 to 500 penalty units. And that translates between 2,600 Central Ghana cities to oh, about 6,000 Ghana cities. And you will bear with me that many of the people who use drugs and end up in, 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 before the courts are people who cannot really make ends meet and cannot afford that amount of money. So at the end of the day, if the person is not able to pay for that fine, that means you have to serve a, a jail sentence. In our jurisdiction, we also know that the drug war is on those who are poor and vulnerable in society. Ask yourself how many rich people have been incarcerated for using drugs. But let's be careful that we are not talking about drug peddlers or trade. We are talking about drug use. So that is why we came to do this analysis. Whilst we are reforming our laws on drug, we believe there is a need for us to look at drug use holistically from a human right and public health point of view. So that those who are problematic users or substance, you have substance use disorder can be given treatment, rehabs, and then they can rejoin the society.